do you have your normal airbrush pen? And the two things that affect when you're airbrushing when it's like this is this little lever here, the stronger you pull it, the more richer the colour comes out. So I do it really lightly and you can build up your colour. And then the, where this pen is to where you're airbrushing will also affect it. So if you go closer, you can get a finer line and take it further away. You get more, it's spaced out. Then also, a few little tricks. At the front here, these two little attachments, if you take the first one off, so you've got the needle more exposed, you can find really fine line what you're airbrushing if you go closer. Then if you take the second one off, you can then flick your airbrush, you can get like a spotty effect. So it's great for like stones or adding just little text, like spots onto whatever you're airbrushing. And put them back. Also, on these pens, you have this little thing here that you can change to shorten or lengthen it so it can stop you from pulling the airbrush lever too far back. So you can set it so it never goes further than that as you're pulling it. Take it further back so more colour can come out. And then lastly, if you open this up, there's this little section here. So you can turn that to tighten it and it makes the colour come out really light so you can get a better flow for it. You can tighten it up and it'll come out a bit faster. So a lot of things there to help you play with to get some cool effects.